Yo, Scott, we got a hammer from Nate. Thank you very much. It's a 12-team super flex, half PPR, no tight end premium, start nine. Give the 107 digs and a late 25 first. Get the 104 Brian Robinson and a projected early 25 second. Go ahead, man. No. No, no reason to give up these three assets for the 104. Next. I mean, unless you just have a desperate need at QB, we don't know any other context here, but then I feel like you can do more with the 107 digs in the first than you can the other side. I just, I don't want to commit to it. Even in a start nine, I'm getting the best asset, but I'm probably giving up the asset two, three, and four it's, in the deal. So I'm it's a free asking. digs. It's almost a free digs. I mean, the problem is, is let's take B-Rob out of there. Let's take the projected early 25 second or whatever, clean it up. And yes, if you break it apart, I'd rather have three pieces because a late 25 first plus the 107 almost gets you to 104. So, I don't well, know. you could say it's late 25 first versus Brian Robinson and an early second. Okay. Say that's six spots just playing it conservatively, right? That's a reasonable deal. If you wanted an extra running back, you move back six spots in the draft. Fine. But then it's 107 and digs for 104. So, unless there is a very specific need, which he may have the context of, I have to get. Jaden Daniels get a quarterback, have to yeah. have him. then okay it's it's a reasonable price but if you're just looking at can you go get another quarterback for less than what you're paying and you don't have to give right. up the 107 just to move up with digs so yeah I'm, I'm passing on it for now ryan thank you for the hammer man it's a 10 team super flex ppr no tight end premium start 10 herbert cousins at qb Pacheco, Garbaggio, <laughs> other than him. Uh, wide receivers, Alave, Ayuk, Waddle, London, Wicks. And then he has Hawkinson at tight end. 102, he's confident the 101 is going to go Marv. He's also got the 103, 109, 202, 203, a 25 first and some seconds. He says, going neighbors plus Caleb, uh, two and three. Looking for advice on where to go with this team. Not sure what to do with the rest of the picks this year and next, plus targets for my running back room. Thanks. All right, dude. 10 team, super flex, start 10. Well, Marv going one. He's getting neighbors at two, which is what I would do in a 10 team or yep. 103 because he just happens to have it. I don't mind trading back from 103 if I wanted to get another QB like 104 or 105 and picking up an extra running back or dart or two. I do think a team that has three QBs with that receiver group adding neighbors, I think is viable to potentially win in a start 10. It's not amazing, yeah. but Alave, neighbors, Ayuk, Waddle, London, that that's that, that that can move the needle a little bit. You know what I mean? Like this team's good enough not where I'm sure. not just saying I'm not contending, uh, but he obviously has problems with future picks uh, with the running backs. He doesn't know what to do in terms of how do I get them? Cause all, all he has is Pacheco. So is there ways I can maybe squeeze a little extra value out of that one Oh three, instead of just taking Caleb, can I get another QB Jaden Daniels or Drake may and move back and get, I don't know. Could you get a Camara to move back? Yeah, to spot? Ex exactly. Something like that. Th that or, fills a short term a need and yeah. or a pick that could, that could net you a running back. Um, that'd be great. And two Oh two, two Oh three. Who knows? That's, there's some nice running backs on our boards anyway, and we go more wide receiver heavy, so they may be earlier, but I don't know. Well, here's in the good thing. Shape, man. It's a 10-teamer, so he's got the 109, 202, yep. 203. That is three top 13 picks outside of the clear and obvious top five or six. So now you may not love the running back class, but at least you have picks that others should value. You should have no problem right. building a running back room and preserving some of that capital for the future. Joe, thank you for the hammer. It's a 10-team Superflex PPR, no tight end premium, start 10. So the breakdown is one quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, one tight end, three flex, and a Superflex. At quarterback, Kyler, Josh Allen, CMC, Kyron Chubb, Ramondre, Javante, Aaron Jones, Mixon at running back. It's a lot of bodies. DJ Moore, T, Addison, JMO at wide receiver, McBride at tight end. As far as picks, the 108, 204, 210, a 25 first. So he says next, he traded Tyreek for a bunch of picks, but now he feels like he needs another wide receiver to be competitive. Should I spend the capital to get a young stud like Nico or a one-year rental like Diggs and Cup? And then here's an inbox offer. 
give Kyron the 108 and the 204, get H. A. Brown and the 201. Just one correction from Joe. Uh, he listed Jim James and Williams on here. That's one player that probably doesn't <laughs> belong in here, but people list him because he's an asset, right? There's somebody that will want him. So you can probably throw him into a deal. Let's let's handle it this way, Scott. Let's let's go back to the inbox offer later. Let's talk about what we're going to do with this team real quick. Well, we'll I already we'll have the answer sure, to but... the inbox offer. You're you're okay. turning Kyron Williams and the 108 for AJ Brown 201, and you're giving back the 204. I'm fine with that deal partially because you have way too many running backs and probably the only ones you can move are Kyron Williams and Christian McCaffrey. All the other ones right. are way more valuable to you than you're probably going to be able to move them for. So you've now gone from you're pretty gross at running back. Every one of them is largely on their what fourth year or beyond. So, I mean, you're, you're at a point where it is a little shaky with how long they're going to last, but who cares? He's way overweight at running back, and which one of those on the screen can he trade besides CMC and Kyron? So you're getting a deal that fits what you want to do. You've added A.J. Brown to your team. You don't have a problem with running back, and you still have your 25 first and that 108 sitting there. So I'm fine with doing this deal. I think it's if you want to get out on Kyron, we've had a lot of talk about Kyron over in the Discord recently uh, about how he probably has an, uh, an outcome that is – going to help you more than the value loss if the rest of the league is value in running backs as their one year hits and then they're gone yeah i'd rather have more kyron than i would trade away but this deal i'm fine taking it doing exactly what he mentioned and he's not paying a terribly high price yeah yeah no no it's it's a good point focus on the wide receiver if you've already got a bunch of running backs and then i think whatever you have he's got some seconds just try to tack that onto like I don't know. Javante is decent. He's got a couple. Basically, he can be flexible. He's got a lot of time with running back. Okay. Tommy, thanks for the two hammers, man. Appreciate it. It's a 10 team super flex start nine, half PPR, no tight end premium. Have T Law Love at quarterback. Only Kyron listed at running back. Puka T, Zay Flowers, Ridley. And then at tight end, Andrews and McBride. As far as picks, 102, 105, 109, 206 and 225 first and he says the 102 and 103 this year i think he must mean this team's he, 102 and 103 this year he has their 25 got it got it got it they're gotta, gonna be good okay want to add a qb and a wide receiver considering drafting neighbors at 102 marvin harrison is going 101 he says and living with whatever qb falls to 105 he says the league economy is a little stiff overall when it comes to trading uh, what are your thoughts on drafting versus trading? Shane might remember this. Let's go back to his team, man. Super shallow, ten team, start nine, half PPR. Super. Well, you know how I treat. You know how I treat ten teamers. I, I need a certain build with my QB room versus. There's very few difference making QBs in a ten teamer. He has two decent ones. They're. I wouldn't say they're difference makers, but if you could get a third in the same range, I would be fine with that trio in a ten teamer which means I would go neighbors at 102. I'd be fine with whatever quarterback falls to me at 105, but I'm also not even tied to the QB at 105. I, I was thinking the same thing, like, man. You, you could I can trade that, get yes. McCarthy at 109, or trade one of those picks for a, a veteran. I want a third QB, given that it's a 10-teamer. I, I right. need to have more than two because everybody else in the league is going to have three or four. But I don't really want to be given up. Like I wouldn't want to give up. I almost wouldn't want to give up either Bowers or a Dunze. Now he doesn't need Bowers, but I don't want to give up a potential skill position advantage for just another T law. Do you know what I mean? Like totally agree. that's what I'm getting with Drake may. Do I really want to take that over a Dunze who two good games? I can flip him for, you know, I'm into yeah, the man. top eight range for one of those. So I would just play it maybe a little conservative on where to draft my third QB and just shop around. Maybe you can buy one with, Shit, can you buy like a Geno Smith for like a 206? Something yeah, I would rather he, do that has, and keep my yeah. first rounder capital. Yes. And in a league like this, I since it's so shallow, I wouldn't hate just spamming out that 109 and 206 for start with a 106, 7, 8, and see what happens. You know, because this is the kind of scenario where I would want to bump up a spot or so. Because it's more of a, especially with a stiff league trading wise. He's, he's going to want to pick a player that the league likes. So let me ask you this. Real, on the alternative, would you trade 102 for Patrick Mahomes? 
and then mm. just bank that you're drafting all darts and getting good pedigree receivers with all your other picks. And if you hit on one of those, which is essentially what you're betting on with neighbors, now you have Mahomes, T-Law, Jordan Love. You have that positional advantage covered. Would you do you that do. or would you would you still hold off? I I liked our idea of um, going a quarterback later, not okay. even necessarily at 105, trying to get one around that 109 mark. Yep. All right. Cool. Good stuff there. So let's go to Nolan. He got us four hammers the other day. And let me throw out there, too, to everyone in the crowd. What do we got? 150 people in here. That's awesome. So the buy me a hammer or <laughs> buy me a coffee dot com slash trades in five is where we get hammer donations. We're going to have a bunch like loaded up in the hopper. So we can't guarantee that whatever hammers you send today, likely they won't be answered. We're going to do another stream tomorrow, we'll work out some kind of cadence, worst word ever, with doing these hammer streams. But yeah, send them in. If it's not an immediate question, we'll answer it on a stream. All right. Nolan, four hammers from him. Here's a uh, here's a 16-teamer. So 16-team, super flex, PPR, 1.75, tight end premium, start nine. He says 20-man rosters. QBs, Lamar, Burrow, T-Law, and a few backups. Running backs, Kamara, Jacobs, Ramondre, and Kant. Wide receivers, ARSB, Puka, Garrett Wilson, Alave, Devontae Smith, and Lockett. Tight end, Pitts, and Fant. Um, okay, he says recent trades. So let's just pop this, um, pop this up. First trade, traded Godwin for Kamara. I mean, fine, right? Look at how deep he is at wide receiver. Godwin be is like wide receiver six or something. Uh, yep. Go with it. Uh, let's see here. Second trade traded Ken Walker in the 103 for Puka Smash. and an early to mid. Great trade. Uh, he says the net gain was. Oh, let me. Sorry. Let me read it for anybody listening. So we traded Ken Walker in the 103 for Puka in an early to mid 25 first. Nicely done. He said the net gain was Kamara Puka 25 first lost Godwin Walker in the 103. Nicely done, man. That's how you work. Yeah, I don't know if that's that's all he put in there, but he had a couple follow-ups. But I just want to yeah, the, the 103 real quick. The 103 trade. I guess I kind of wonder what else could he have done with the 103? Because I did see it as a 16-teamer with shallower rosters. And looking at his QB room, I mean, I get it why he did it, because he doesn't have any QB need, right? Like, I mean, look at that QB yeah. room, a 16 teamer. Plus, he's sitting on the 103. So, I just now that I look at it, I like the trade, but maybe this is one you could have leveraged for more. But I get it. He's probably like, I have a good deal in front of me where I don't have to make a decision on taking a QB four. I'm getting Puka and hopefully an early first next year. So, continue. Yeah. So, he says, uh, after listening to Scott's episode on running back efficiency, I was looking to take action to capitalize on over under value players. How did I do in these and thoughts on what to do now? He said, thinking about proposing that our league adds another flex spot to the lineup to be start 10. Not sure if it'll pass due to thin waivers, benches as is. Any advice for tweaking big leagues? This is a lot of stuff. So, Nolan, we'll we'll probably address this. I want to do a whole show on, on tweaking formats and stuff before next season so everybody can play and stuff that they like better. So let's just address I mean, what was this rb efficiency go ahead he did he did fine i recommended buying camara this is a start nine so you know having a an advantage at running back he probably needed that given he way he traded his wide receiver six so i'm okay with that deal i just want to say i mean it's a 16 team 20 man rosters right that's 320 roster spots that's equivalent of like a 12 team start or 27 man rosters it's not that deep right. so what, what he's probably looking at on waivers is shallow compared to some of ours you know what i mean like it's not it isn't like oh man we can't add another starter because it's already too deep i would just sell your league on listen a lot of 12 team leagues that have start a let i mean because 16 by 10 that's 160 starters clay that's a 12 team start 14 yeah, you know what i mean a lot it, it's a lot of starters so i would just say it's not actually that deep it just looks like it because everybody's individual yeah. team is thinner but across the league it's not for sure. And that's why I like how your running back room is kind of meh because the there's probably more running backs on waivers. And yeah, you're stacked at quarterback and wide receiver. Love it. Okay. Let's go to thank for those hammers, Nolan. So okay, Troy, you are next. Thank you so much. 
10 team start 10 super flex PPR quarterbacks, Goff, Russ Wilson, and Burrow running backs, Henry Pollard, JT and Cans. wide receivers, Tyreek Hill, Devonte Adams, Godwin tight end, Kelsey and Ingram. As far as 24 picks, just the 206 and 306 it says, should I try to compete again? Should he try to compete again? He won the league back to back years, but lost last year, or should he start selling assets? Thanks, fellas. It's kind of interesting how it was a, uh, it's like he's asking, yeah, he's asking a question for his kid or something. Kids at school. I mean, here's the problem, Clay. What can you sell? Golf? Probably not. Wilson? Probably not. Henry? Probably not. Pollard? Probably not. Tyreek Hill? Maybe. Jonathan Taylor? Maybe. Adams? Godwin? Kelsey? Evan Ingram? Can you sell any of those guys? Like, doesn't this feel like this team's like stuck in probably should have sold a year ago, but didn't? So, I mean, go for it. Yes, you can cash out on what you have, but other than Burrow, do you even have anything that would be considered? I'm building for two years out. Do you even have any pieces you're building for two years out on this team? You see, what I'd like to do is go for it and then kind of see where I'm at during the season and then, you know, extract some value by, by selling like a Pollard or something like that as you're going along to recoup some recoup some picks and stuff, be able to turn it over. What do you think? Well, I would test the market in your league on probably Tyreek. He seems like one of the players that you can still buy. If it's a less sharp league, they may say he's still a positional advantage guy. And I would try to maybe, I try to do a two for one for him where I get, get a future first that kind of insulates me a little bit and see if I can tear down at receiver. I don't know what that looks like, but yeah, anything where I think is a little more stable. Cause I think he's the one piece you could trade everything else. It's hard not to say with what else you have. You almost have to just go for it. But hey, like you said, hedge your bets. Keep my insurance to the side to where if I need to revert to tanking my own pick, I still have it there. Yeah, and I think everybody's saying Miami's going to go offensive line, you know, to protect to us. So there's going to be a uh, a correlation there with, with Tyreek. He'll, he'll get a little bump soon. He's a monster, man. All right. Devon, Devin, thank you for the hammer. Appreciate it. 12-team, super flex, half PPR, start nine. Quarterbacks are Hertz, Kyler, Bryce, wide receivers, CD, Puka, Nico, Alave, and Rashi Rice. Running backs, Henry, Chuba, Cans, tight end, Goddard. Have the 102, 101, and 102. Need a running back hammer. The He says the Chiron owner is interested in a swap for Rashi Rice. Good deal with my wide receiver depth or target running back with Bryce. My goodness, I am smashing Kyron Williams for Rashi Rice, considering what his uh what his room looks like. What do you think? Yeah, shout out to uh old Josh McAtee over in Destination Devi. Uh this yeah, man, super talked sharp. about this. We've talked about this topic probably for hours over the last couple of weeks. This is the perfect type of team. I mean, do I really want to give liquid assets for Kyron Williams? No. I want to be greedy. But then I'm going to zoom in and say, okay, which which player of the two has a range of outcomes where it can really impact my team? Then I look at my team and I go, yeah, your running backs are pretty shitty. So he it's a fits half the PPR. Team. Yep, he fits the team. It's a price where you're going to be able to live with it if Rasheed Rice ends up being a pretty solid. Let's say he has Michael Pittman's career. You're going right. to be able to at least live with this trade. And you have the 101 and 102. So you know you're adding at least Marvin Harrison and or Malik Neighbors and or trade assets where you could pick up another receiver. So I'm this was a I gift. think this is this one of the few you just take gift. it and it fits yeah. your construction. You gain by getting the deal done, even though it's a pretty fair deal. Silver Surfer, thank you for the hammer. Appreciate it. 12 team, one QB, PPR, 1.5 tight end premium, start eight. Lamar Purdy at quarterback, Gibbs, Monty, Connor, Roshan, DJ Moore, Tank, Mike Wilson, uh, Mark. You can stop there. Tank. Yeah, it's, uh, stop. Can't. Waller and Juwan Johnson, <laughs> Cans at tight end, have the 101 to 11, all 25 picks. He says, <laughs> excuse me. I had, to, I had to burp that out real quick on mute. Uh, says the 102 owner is asking for the 101, which says is Marvin Harrison. Trade the 101 for 102 an additional pick slash pieces. He's got the 110, 11, 12, 201, JSN, and Alave. 
Uh, let's just see here. So again, it's 12 team, one QB start eight. Yep. Short answer is yes. I would trade the 101, but it is Chris Alave in the 102 or JSN in the 102. That is the minimum deal. I don't want more pieces. I want two pieces for one, but that's essentially you're getting a free one of those guys. I'd prefer Alave, but you give me Alave and neighbors. I'll do that for Marv. That's an e even in a start eight. I'm willing to take the shot on two players. But understand, there I have zero interest in 110, 111, 112 in this specific no. deal. It's got, it almost has to be, I'll give you something to balance it, but I need a Lave and I need 102. And he's going to balk at that. He or she is going to say, I'm not doing that deal because that's probably the two best assets in the trade besides the 101. Like I'm giving up two premium pieces and you just walk away from the table. If he really wants Marvin Harrison, he'll come back. Yes, he will. Okay. Love it. So thank you for the hammer from Fire Sports Cards. Uh, 12 TM Superflex, 2.0 tight end premium, start 11. Nice. Quarterbacks, Allen, Kyler, Cousins. Yeah. Running backs, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> End of list. <laughs> Wide receivers, T, Flowers, Deontay, and Cans. Tight end, Kraft. 102, or I'm sorry, 101, 102, 103, 106, 7, 9, 10. I want top tier wide receivers. Any package ideas? The team was in, dude, did I do this one the other day? The team was in full rebuild, got most of these picks and trades and startup moving up and back. Thanks for what you guys do. No, we did not do this because the other guy asked for tier ups, tier downs. Go ahead. I have no interest in tearing up here. You don't need to. You have all these assets. You already have the semblance of a competitive team. In a start 11, T, Flowers, Deontay, all threshold receivers. You have the top three picks. You have six and seven. You have nine and 10. It's a two PPR for tight ends. You should come out of this with six or a seven monster. starting skill players, and you already have Josh <laughs> Allen and Kyler Murray. Like This is the team where I would look at and go, this is one of those your, your teams, like Shame says. It, unless you totally screw it up and make a deal where you overpay for one piece, this team's in a dominant position. So, say, sure, one for one deals I'm interested in, but I'm not interested in giving up the 103, 106, and 110 for CD Lamb or something like you know. No interest in doing that in this format. Just keep stacking. Love it. Spencer, thank you for the hammer. Appreciate it. So it's a 10 team super flex PPR 1.5 tight end premium start 11. Anthony Richardson, Kyler Murray at quarterback, running back cans, wide receivers Addison, Reed, Downs, Dotson. He's got Fryermuth at tight end. 101, 104, 105, 107, 201, 205, 207. And he's got 225 firsts and seconds. He's got an inbox offer for us. Send Kyler, Fryermuth, and the 207. Receive Fields, Craft, and a late 25 first. Is the tear down from Murray to Fields too much? No. It's getting a lot of 10 teamers today, aren't we? Lots of 10 teamers. 10 teams start 11 on this one. And look at all those picks. Look at that. Yeah, I think here <laughs> you're. The devaluation of the QB makes me okay right. going from Kyler to Fields and getting a first. Kraft and Fryermuth, they can cancel each other out, don't really care. So it's really a first in Fields in for Kyler, and it's even in a 10-team or a late first is still a good chance to be, what, top eight, top seven? I'm taking it because the first adds me more buying power later. Take it. Yep, love it. Okay, let's go to Duck Truck. Thank you for your hammer. Appreciate it. 12-team, super flex, Half PPR, 1.5 for tight ends. Start 10. Bench is 20 deep. Stroud, Daniel Jones, Ritter at quarterback. Bijan, Rashad White, Swift, Brown at running back. Garrett Wilson, Nico Addison, Pickens, and Dobbs. Michael Mayer and Tuna Cans at tight end. Picks 103, 104, 203, 212. And all 25 and 26s. It says Wentz. 0-14 two years ago, and now here we are, boys, hoping to snag QB number two and wide receiver number two in this draft. Am I ready to contend yet? That's awesome. Went 0-14 now. Here we are. So, Duck Truck, you're good good position to get neighbors and a quarterback probably or just kind of play those picks. You're in premier spot. Yeah, you're not getting Marvin Caleb, but you're in a great position. What I would do, my last Dynasty Portfolio show talked about Rashad White. He's one of those players where if I have a running back room built like this, 
And I already have DeAndre Swift. Same would apply to him if he signs somewhere that's exciting. I'm taking a first for Rashad White here because it doesn't impact whether I contend or not. And it helps me kind of perpetuate a mini rebuild, although I'm trying to win at the same time, if that makes sense. Because I'm drafting probably neighbors in a QB. That's enough for me to set my lineup and say, I got a shot. Yep. And then if I don't end up winning, I still have my first and that other first. So I'm selling Rashad White. I would take any first in the league, just spam it, hold those two first, and then see where your team is about halfway through the season. Love it. <laughs> Sean Kittle's crew. Thank for the hammer. 12 team super flex PPR start 10 at quarterback Stroud Love Watson in any QB on a 53. Uh, Jones, Warren, and Cans at running back. CD, AJ Brown, Flowers, Ayuk, Pittman, and Godwin at wide receiver. Schultz at tight end. Pickwise has the 108, 110, 206, 8, 9. No 25 first. And this question is go for a hammer running back, move up in the draft. Lost on direction because I feel like my wide receiver room is already my best strength. Thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I think he's right. His receiver room is his best strength. This is a class where he's probably, if he makes all those picks, is going to end up with more receivers. So if you can move maybe the 110 for a future first, uh, try future first and the 110. Maybe you get a running back thrown in as well on that first. Just to kind of ensure yourself because it feels like you're just picking another, you're picking Xavier Worthy. You know, you're picking... Troy Franklin at that spot, which you know could be a hit, but it could also be one where you wish you had the first running backs. I'll just say he, y- you don't need a hammer running back. Plus, who are the hammer running backs? Clay, sure, if you can move one hundred eight for a chain or something, do yeah. it. Yeah, but uh, you don't need you don't need running backs to win, at least not right now. So just keep make keep keep looking at those picks for the best deal you can get. But I do want to get a twenty five first. I hate a team like this where I don't have a future first. Feels like I'm stuck. You know. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. And yeah, we've been talking a lot about running backs and if you want to take a lot of shots, he's, he's in a nice yep. little cluster there if he wanted yep. to go that route too. So, okay. And then lastly, he had said also, if anyone is wondering, yes, the Patreon is worth it. Sign up now. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. We've got 120 or 25 uh, patrons in there now. Patreon.com slash all gas join our tier, or we have the destination five tier where you get the Heisman, all of Destination Debbie. I always call it the all you can eat plus Dynasty Trades in five. So you go to DestinationDebbie.com for that one. But yeah, join, man. Got Listener League starting up. And, and you get all the tools. That's a big oh, thing. You, you got get that, all the you tools. get access to the site. So you get the tools, the war tool, the Trinity Tracker, yes. uh, the range of out. Like, there's a ton of stuff that you get if you go through there and you're still getting access to all the Discord stuff. So Yeah, Destination 5 tier treat treat yourself or have your loved one treat you okay let's go to tyler thank for the three hammers appreciate it it's a 12 team start 11 with a 0.5 tight end premium left the startup with bryce young geno smith and a bunch of backups monty miller at uh <laughs> monty and kendra miller at running back the cans quick on this one Ugh. london rice uh, Michael Wilson, Dotson, Palmer at wide receiver, Friar Muth at tight end has the 103, 4, 7. What's up? Now, I'll say this looks like, uh, <laughs> well, continue because he did get a lot of future picks. I would say this kind of yeah. looks like a Shane team, except for he wouldn't have drafted all those other turd players. He would have just stopped at like Drake London and, and, and he'd have Rice and have, he'd have seconds all and thirds. Picks. Yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. All right. So pick wise, he has one Oh three, four, seven, eight, nine. And then he has a late second and five twenty five first. So that's what he did. He started stacking 25. Okay. Do I try to move all this flexibility or take the picks and hold on to 25 basically in a one year punt? It's an empire. So everyone drafted win now teams and picks are not valued in this league. Okay. So going back to his team, 12 team start 11 cans at QB running back. And he's got like two wide receivers and then all those picks. Go ahead. I mean, it's in an empire that just finished the startup. This is going to be way too hard to try to turn around the other way. So I think you just lean into it, which means, gosh, what else can go on here, Clay? Liqu- liquidate everything except can. for <laughs> I'm, honestly, almost everything can go even like Drake, London, Rasheed Rice. Like I wouldn't turn down deals that you think are good values for any of those guys. Bryce Young, everything. 
I mean, everything. truthfully, it, and especially in an empire, here's the thing. I, we didn't specify the empire rules, how somebody wins it, that kind of thing. But if you can just survive the initial onslaught of like somebody going back to back champs in the empire league. And my experience in empire is when somebody is a win away from winning it, what happens? They get freezed out by the rest of the league. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah. don't want you to win. And then the league ends. So I think if you can survive like two years, you're going to be in a great position where it's like half the teams need to rebuild, but they don't want to rebuild because it's an empire. Yeah. And you have all the assets and you're just like, I can hand pick what I want. That's where you want to get to lean into it. Joe dirt. That's one of my, that's one of my favorites. Thank you for the hammer. 10 team super flex start 10, 30 man roster, six point per passing touchdown with yardage and completion bonuses, full PPR 1.5 for tight ends. So been rebuilding for three years and I'm pushing in Tyler Watson Goff at quarterback, Ken Walker, HN Pollard, Aaron Jones at running back, Chase Puka, Wilson Alave, Tyreek London at wide receiver. He's got McBride, Pitts, and Njoku. Has the 101, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 202 this year. Or he's got three seconds. 425 first. Come on, dude. So he says, what's the best way to upgrade a QB? And what's the most you pay for CMC? How would you attack this year's picks, my future picks as well? I said, come on, dude. But uh, he put in some work getting a potential monster here. So yeah, doesn't this kind of remind you of like, there's just like billions of dollars laying around and you can only fit as much as you can get into like your pockets. Like he has so many assets here. There really isn't like an overpay or a too much. I mean, but look at his roster, then look at his picks. And he's got six future firsts as well. I mean, he's he got, got half, half the top 20 players in dynasty already. And then maybe not half, but he's got a significant chunk of assets. So, I mean, aren't you just looking for tier ups? Really? I mean, you just, you have to spam. You have to go to every elite player that you don't have and just see like what you can get done. And Truth. It, in a 10 team with Kyler and Watson and Goff right now, I mean, yeah, maybe I maybe I take a quarterback, but I just want to ha- – <laughs> this might be a team, if I'm not getting you know good offers, just making a ton of picks, just making those first like five or six picks. Yeah, but- I do think there's some merit. I mean, he's got McBride, Pitts, and Njoku. Why do you need all three? That yeah. You could argue just liquidate one at least. You know what I mean? Just whatever one you can trade, I don't care. Give me the other two. Same with guys like Amari Cooper, Jerry Judy. Yeah. Like you don't need all these pieces because a lot of his pieces are kind of just like dead or expiring assets that are just there. And I'd rather have the control over future. I mean, I would rather get rid of a guy like Jerry Judy and Amari Cooper for future seconds than just all have day. them sit on this team where they're never helping you. And it all gives day. you just more shots, right? Like make all the picks, but it gives you a like Jerry Judy is never going to be probably anything more than what he is. But yeah. Roman Wilson could be somebody that someone else wants gives you a first for. So re- re-roll everything you can't use and just play it that way if your team doesn't let you tear up. Yeah, he said, what's the most you'd pay for CMC? If we just keep it simple pick wise, I'd give the 103 for CMC on this team. I, I, I would take like Marvin neighbors like. Screw it. Does he he doesn't even list a single running back? I don't know. I, mean, I, I guess I'm just saying in a vacuum with the leverage he has, that's what I would pay. If knowing my lead, does. if I thought he does I have, could make a he has Ken Walker, A Chain, Tony Pollard, and Aaron. Oh, yeah, Jones. he does. Oh, yeah, he does. My bad. So, I mean, he has a running back room that has really nothing you could sell but A Chain. He has a receiver room that's loaded. He's got a shit ton of picks. I mean, I, I'm going literally, this is one of the few teams where I would just go hammer hunting, like Shane would say. <laughs> I mean, you have you have 30 assets. You only it's a start yeah. 10. So you wonder why you're not winning? It's because I have 30 assets. <laughs> I'm just not getting lucky in the right weeks, you know? That's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay, so we got uh three hammers from Joseph. Appreciate it. It's a 12 team start nine, no tight end premium, super flex, Tua Russ Howell. At quarterback, Chase Brown, Cans at running back, Demario Douglas and Cans at wide receiver. He's got the 107, 112, two mid to late 25 firsts and some seconds. He's got two 26s. Uh, not sure I can get my 25 first back. Yeah, I bet. 
He said, went full rebuild. Bowers is likely going to be 107. Do I pivot and take a quarterback and get a wide receiver at 112? Or do I take Bowers at 107, then go QB at 112? Thanks for the help. Love y'all. Appreciate it, man. Well, Joseph, thank you for the three hammers. I, I agree with you. If I had your 25 first, I would not be pumped to trade it. But it would be one of those fault. teams, Clay, where <laughs> you look at his roster, you can't even formulate a deal to give him his 25 first. You're like, if I take his two best players, it still doesn't equal that pick. So, I mean, that's probably a lost cause unless you can find somebody that will do, you know, the 107 and something for your first back. But it's probably not going to happen. I'm not right. taking a tight end in a full rebuild. Okay. I get it. He may need a tight end. I, I'm i probably just playing those. Pit. I almost feel like I have to split that 107 and take two shots. Like, does taking Roma Dunze there really help me that much? If he becomes Chris Alave, does that really help me all that much? Like, it feels like I just need, yeah. I need to split these assets. I need to try to get a 201 in a future first for that 107 and just take multiple shots because you have so few assets and you don't have your own pick. I, it's I, it's funny you say that because like the 201 specifically, because I was going to say 111, but yeah, moving back, but, but getting like a tiny little uh, double tap there, if you wanted to make the picks or that just makes people want to come up and get one of your picks so you can keep kind of, you know, basically jockeying around or get yourself into 25. Uh, yeah, I like it. I always like back to back picks. Who doesn't, right? But yep. Okay, so let's go to um. We just have two more. We got one from Tier Swap here. Thank you very much. It's a fourteen team one QB PPR start eight. A Rich Kyler Carr at quarterback. Connor and Cans at running back. DJ Moore, Devonte Smith, Pittman, Higgins at wide receiver. Michael Mayer at tight end. Pick wise, 102, which he is sharp it in neighbors, 108, 225 first, 226 first. Take a running back at 108 and go for it or trade Connor and tank 24. What do you think, man? Hmm. I mean, it's a one QB, but it's a 14 teamer. I'm not tanking with a team like this. I think it's too good to show. I mean, how are you going to tank this team? It's not going to finish at the bottom. It's going to finish no. what? What? 10th best? You know what I mean? You're going to end up with the 105 next year in a one QB. What are you tanking for? I would rather just stay in the middle. If things start to go bad, then maybe you can sell. But I mean, you add, you need, you need one of your QBs to be probably a difference maker, but you have two guys that could be. And then you have, I mean, why do you have James Conner if you're tanking? You know what I mean? Like it, it seems, right. it feels like it's already in and you have neighbors. I'm, I'm going for it, but it doesn't mean I need to trade everything to go for it. You have two firsts in the next two years and you have the 108. You don't need to buy a running back right now, but if you could buy one for the 108, go try to get a chain. Go try to get a chain yeah. and something for, or a chain for 108 and something. Like we talked about that on the stream. Like that's this is a perfect team for a chain. You just ride or die. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. But yeah, I'm not. No way, I'm tanking. This team's too good to tank. What, what's it benefits you in a one QB? Yeah, not at all. Not at all. Go for it. All right. And then the last one, I'm, I'm throwing this in there. He sent it earlier today. So there are some who didn't make it into the hopper. Um, I'm putting his in there because he said he's a longtime listener, first time caller, and he donated uh, five hammers. So let's put Big Al's trucking in here. And just a reminder, we're doing another one tomorrow night. More to come on that. Okay, thank you so much for the hammers. It's a 12-team super flex, start 10, half PPR, 1.5 for tight ends. Anthony Richardson, Stroud, and Stafford at quarterback. James Cook, B-Rob, Najee, and Chubb at running back. Wide receivers, Chase, DJ Moore, Pittman, uh, Wilson, Jamo. Goddard at tight end, says finish sixth. Have the 108, no 25 picks. What is my move to get to the next tier? Hmm. Does everyone have Michael Wilson today, Clay? And Everybody has him. Michael Wilson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you look at this team and you go, well, why didn't it potentially finish well last year? I mean, Chad Chase injured for a couple games. You had Michael Pittman's QB injured. You had Anthony Richardson injured on your own team. Chubb out for the season. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't feel like you really have much you can move unless you want to split... What would you split here? Would you try to split Stroud or Richardson? 
see if you could tear down and still try to win with what you have, get an extra first or something like that? Or would you move like Stroud for 103 and a first if you could do it on this type of team? Let, like a let me QB or what? Let me digest it a little bit more. G- keep giving a couple of your thoughts. Let me reread it so I can give an answer that I uh, that I stand behind. Well, I look at it as he doesn't have assets in 25. He has the 108. That's probably a good pick, but it's probably also a Dunze, JJ McCarthy, whoever you want to take. Is it the RB1 because you think you want to add a running back? Whatever. It's flexible, but it's also not a pick where you're guaranteed to add a starter and a start 10. So I think he needs more assets. I so agree. what can he tear off of? Jamar Chase, a quarterback. And it's probably Stroud more than Richardson. So like, if you could do a tear down from Stroud or Chase and pick up a first, I'd be willing to do it. But I'd probably prefer Stroud if I could attack like this year's... And I guess it applies to neighbors too. Can you get neighbors in a first for Chase? Can you get... Jaden Daniels in yeah. a first for Stroud. And it's not neighbors or Daniels. It's the 103. It's the 104. Like, it's got to be that type of deal. But shy yes. of that, I mean, I, I still think I'm probably just trying to see what I can do with the 108. Because you don't, you don't really have the next level up unless you split. Yeah, no, that's a good point because... Because yeah, move needs to be made, but there's only a, a few attractive pieces on the on the team. And luckily, with a Rich and Stroud, yeah, tear down to I don't know. I don't like having two Fields types with like Anthony Richardson and Fields, but just tear down a bit. I mean, what about what would it look like tearing down to? Let's see. Yeah, even Burrow. We've got Chase on this team. What could you get on top of Burrow for CJ Stroud? I mean, get greedy. Give them uh how about this? How about Nick Chubb and CJ Stroud for Joe Burrow and the what 25 first? Something like that. Like it's done. Only a sucker is gonna accept that trade, but you can at least propose those type of trades. And if they want B Rob, Najee, or James Cook, I don't care. Any you can have any of them. Sure, sure. You yeah, know what I mean? Like get, you give, you let, give them the choice. Me, Take your pick. And throw in Michael Wilson and J Mo, right? Get rid of those two. <laughs> Seriously. Nick Chubb, Michael Wilson, and JMO with Stroud for Burrow and a 25 first. Boom. Now you got a stack. Now you got a 25 yeah. first back. Didn't change your roster construction. Freed up two spots because you traded away two cans with Wilson and JMO. And you got the future first that you can bank. Try it. Love it. Good stuff. Awesome. Hopefully that helps you out. Scott, this was fun, man. We'll we'll keep doing these pop-up streams from time to time. We're, we're going to figure out what works best in terms of how many we can hit. We want to keep them around 30 minutes, typically. So we'll we'll figure it out. But yeah, this is a good time. We'll be doing more of these. Buymeacoffee.com slash trades in five. And you can uh yeah donate, support the channel, and get your dynasty trade answered on a live stream. So we will see you tomorrow night. Get your get your hammers in by tomorrow afternoon so i can make the banners and stuff and shane and i will be going live you know past eight or something like that and we'll probably go for a while knowing us but anyway take it easy guys gonna end this stream